Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Mr. Fix-It channel. On this episode, I got my Players 400 in the shop. I'm going to be doing the inner and outer crankshaft seals on the right-hand side of the motor. Now, to get in there, i got to take the gas tank cover and the gas tank out to get to the wiring. i also got to remove the pull cover, the flywheel, the stator, the inside engine cover, along with the balancer shaft gear. I will be removing and replacing the balancer shaft and also replacing a bearing and a water pump. Stay tuned. The real good thing, I'm taking this all apart. This bearing is bad. I was getting ready to take this seal out and I noticed this. Alright, so it is possible to change these seals out on this side of the motor without pulling the motor out of the frame. Although I would recommend pulling the motor out to do this job. So I'm going to show you how I did it. This panel here is held on with a couple of O-rings, also three of these barbed panel fasteners. i got to take this off so I can show you easier where the radiator drain is. like the Ohio rainforest anymore. This tool here is a steering wheel puller. It's also used for a lot of other things, but that's basically what you can look up, steering wheel puller. You can rent this tool from AutoZone. The bolts that come with the tool will not be provided for this application, so what you're going to need is an M6 by one pitch thread, and you need it to be at least two and a half inches long to get the tool to clear and pull this off. Sorry about the rain noise guys, I hope you can bear with it. Yeah, there was uh, no oil left in that. There is a special tool for this, which I do not have. So I'm gonna to have to get a little brutal with this thing because I am not waiting to order a tool. This is left-hand thread. Using a brass drift. Don't do what I do here, guys. Just order the tool. This is very brutal and machine. You can't get it torqued properly. Just order the tool.
there's an engine mount bolt right there. All right, I took that upper engine mount loose. I'm going to use a pry bar and I'm going to pry the engine back like this. Real good thing I'm taking this all apart. This bearing is bad. And there's the other seal. Just gonna put some of this sealant on the outside of this seal. Just a little dab of grease in here. Now when you put this seal in, it will actually go down in this hole too far. So you gotta be careful and only put it in so that it's flush across the top here. If you push it all the way down, then the seal and the bearing will fail. All right, I got the new bearing in there. This is all cleaned up, ready to go back on. So I'm in here looking around. I was getting ready to take this seal out, and I noticed this. So it looks like I'm gonna have to pull the balancer out and uh, do something about that. Okay, here I'm using that steering wheel puller again, using the same bolts as I did with the flywheel. You can use this kind of as a slide hammer. I got lucky and had a an axle for a front wheel off a motorcycle that threaded right into this. All right, if you look close here, you're gonna see two dots. I don't know if you can see those or not, right there. So these are two separate pieces. The, the gear is pressed onto the shaft. And when I drive this back in there, I'm gonna to wanna to use a socket that'll lay on the, the gear part, not the inside part. So I'm gonna use this big socket. This is a 32 millimeter. I'm going to drive it in like that. Don't forget this. Uh, these teeth here drive the oil pump. So you want to get these meshed in the gear inside there. I'm just going to put an extension on there so I can swing at it with the hammer better. Put these two bolts back in. Grease on the inside and sealant on the outside. All right, slip your gear back in. Make sure you've got these two marks lined up. And then there's a flat washer. One side has a groove on it. The other side's flat. I'm gonna put the washer on with the groove facing out. And then there's an O-ring. I'm gonna put a little oil on the shaft here the o-ring on and then there's this collar the collar has a beveled edge on one side and it's a 90 on the other side you want the bevel to go towards the o-ring put some oil on the water pump shaft slip the water pump on slip 
slip the water pump drive impeller. You got a flat washer, then a lock washer, then the nut. And then the gasket can go on. Line up the water pump housing. Get the starter lined up. And then finish putting all the bolts back in. Right now is a good time to fill up the counterbalance case and check for leaks. So I've got the dipstick out and I've got the funnel shoved down in the hole and I'm going to put 100 cc's of fluid in there. Okay, that was 10W30. I'm going to let that drain out of the funnel and then we'll check with the dipstick. Alright, I'm going to stick the dipstick in there and I'm going to see how, what, what the fluid level is. And a long pair of needle nose pliers will be your friend here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just on the hash section of this dipstick. Alright, filled up with coolant. And fill slowly to avoid any air pockets. Over here on top of the cylinder head, there's a bleeder here. Loosen this nut. And you see the air coming out. I like to squeeze the hose a few times, see if I can get a couple more air bubbles out of there. Took two quarts. Alright, once you get your stator wires fished back up through there, you're going to want to smother this grommet with some silicone. That way water can't get in here. Okay, now I'm going to put the timing plate on, get the wires tucked back behind it there. Alright, if you look close in here, there's two marks. You want to line these two marks up with the timing plate right here. Alright, all the bolts are in. They're all torqued down. I got the stator in, got that glued up. Before you put the flywheel on, you need to put your starter bendix in. Then your flywheel, got to line up the key with the keyway. Alright, before I put the nut on the flywheel, I'm just going to rotate this, make sure everything moves fine. Okay, and then the washer goes on. And then the nut. Torque this down to 29 to 44. I'm going to go 36.
apply more anaerobic sealant to the pole starter cover. I'm going to fire this thing up real quick. Whew. As you can see, not the easiest job in the world, but I got it done. And I think the next time I do this job, I will be pulling the motor out. I think it would be a lot easier. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.